Hi. I wanted to make this short video, and it, it, it doesn't just apply to Dabba Sweeney. It applies to all coaches, but I'm going to use him. I don't really respect Dabba Sweeney. Not, I respect his ability to motivate his team. I respect his, you know, ability to hire great assistant coaches. And some, for some reason, they keep him at Clemson. You know, a lot of these other places, they, Ohio State, Alabama, that they can't keep this as his coaches. But Brent Venables, he stayed at Clemson, and he, you know, so Dabo, he, he Dabo, he, he, he's running a good program. So he's a really great coach. I don't really respect him that much. I don't, but I'm not going to get into that because. I don't know the inside scoop. I don't live in South Carolina, and so I'm, I don't want to be negative on him. Anyway, this would have turned my opinion on Dabo Sweeney. You know what would have been really awesome? As someone who loves college football, now I'm an Ohio State fan, but even more than that, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a college football fan. Now, picture this. Sean Wade gets ejected for targeting. And that, you know, that that call was hogwash. I had like three or four videos explaining, you know, by the rule book, why that call is hogwash. Because if you call that by the letter of the law, everyone's going to, you know, I mean, you're going to have so many players evicted. Okay. What would have been really awesome is if Dabo would have said, no, we're not going to take that penalty. Sean Wade, he didn't, he doesn't deserve to be evicted. So we're going to decline it. We're going to, yeah, we don't want it. We're not going to accept it. That would have been awesome. Now, you tell me, wouldn't that not have been awesome? Now, there's Clemson fans are like, oh, man, that would be stupid because you know what? You know what? You might not have lost. I'm, you were losing up to that game. And if the refs would have made the right decision and not called Sean Wade and evicted him, Clemson was going to lose. But after the refs made that call, and if Davo Sweeney wouldn't have accepted the penalty because it was the right thing to do, the book of James it says it's not just a sin to, to not do something wrong, but it's even a sin not to do what's right. So, any, but you no, know, we're not, not calling people sinners in this video, okay? Not, not trying to do that, okay? But when you don't do something right, that, that, that's bad too. Think about how that would have pumped up the Clemson players. Uh, Dabo would have been like, uh, he would have rejected the penalty, and he would have said, you know what? We don't need penalties to beat that team. You go out and you beat them. We're better than them. We're not going to accept the refs handing us to the game. You go out and you whip them. As a player, that would have pumped me up if Dabo would have not accepted that. Now, I say that this goes to more coaches than Dabo because there's a lot of plays. There's so many missed calls. There's so many missed penalties in football. There's so many times that holding holding some of those calls does it does it mat you know does it happen does it not happen? I think it'd be really cool. Now, hear me out. If more coaches. Even if the game was tight, not just if the game was already put away, but when the game was tight, if they knew the other team did not commit that penalty, and out of righteousness and out of character, they declined the call. They declined to accept it. Would that not be cool? I think it would be cool. I would like that. That would have made me a Dabo fan if he would have done that. And you know what? That would make me a fan... You know, unless there's, you know, extra character stuff that I don't know about for different coaches. But doing that type of thing would make me a fan of almost any college football coach. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, mention that. Not accepting a call that you know is not right. <sighs> ah, that Sean Wade call. Just, ah, that wasn't a good call. Anyway, thank you guys and God bless you.